She's put his face on blankets and even on her own arm. It's a face that never fails to melt Natasha Todd's heart. But lately... I love him. Just thinking of Lance the Fox brings her heart break. I don't know how much longer I can do this. She's had him since he was just weeks old, raising him for three years alongside dogs and cats and eventually another fox. So he has his den, he has his own room. But July 9th, he slipped out of her house on Sheed Road when a house guest left the door open. Like that, and he pushed his way out. Lance usually wears a GPS-tracked collar, but just hours before his escape, Todd had taken it off to recharge it. I'm having a hard time functioning without him around. He's my emotional support pet. And he's like, a, he's like my baby. She's been passing out these missing posters and responding to dozens of fox sightings. None turn out to be Lance. I drove for hours up and down the highway last night until 3 o'clock in the morning and, and calling his name. It's his first time away from home and his first time away from home life. He's a good boy. He eats crushed ice. He sleeps on a feather pillow. He loves duck pate. All of which... He's now likely going without. I'm losing hope that we're going to find him and that we're going to find him alive. And I'm just really worried. And Todd's also worried that someone could intentionally harm Lance, thinking he yeah. could be a threat to livestock. And foxes right. do travel a great distance. Uh, I read they run up to 35 miles an hour, so no telling where he is right now. Another thing, though, she says he does respond to his name. So if you see a fox oh. out there, she's suggesting you call out Lance. And if he responds, that's probably him, and she would like to hear from you. Wow. Is it safe for us, though, right. to approach the fox? That's no, he's extremely thinking. friendly. He grew up around humans. He grew up around other pets, so he may approach. Approach. He may also be scared just because he's in an unfamiliar environment. So either yeah. or, no telling there either. I'm going to call an uh, animal, animal expert. Right. You I, and I on the yeah, same page. I, I mean, I, I would care about the animals, certainly, yeah, but absolutely. I'm not going to just go grab it, but I would call someone for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you for educating us on this. Say, I, I did not know this was possible. No, okay. definitely. And in Ohio, you're going to own up to four, but again, you do need a permit. Okay. Thank you All so right. much for that, Luke. And Todd isn't the first in her family to own wild animals. She says that her aunt kept wolves when she was growing up. Click on this story at local12.com, and we have a number you can call if you think you have seen Lance. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.